Yeah, right, guys and girls, welcome back to another quick video update. Um, so it's the twenty sixth today, I believe. Um, there we go. That's it then. Uh, so the twenty sixth of January, twenty twenty one, at the time of the video, and just doing some toast. Uh, about five o'clock in the morning, four o'clock. I see four forty six AM in the morning. Uh so oh so my mum's uh been sort of like moaning at me all day today because I basically um caught my mum giving my alcoholic brother or drinker brother um some money earlier today or yesterday now actually and uh, I got a bit uh, cross with her because I said look you shouldn't be doing this to a drinker alcoholic because he got he's getting got paid today so basically um, she's feeding his addiction so she gave him a little bit of money so he could go and get his money uh, his payday um, his benefits or government money or whatever you want to call it and uh, basically uh, I caught her basically giving him a I think five pound or something and she kind of denied it um, and basically I had one of my cameras set up because uh, it was yesterday morning and because I knew my brother was going to come in the other room um, at the time so I had it set at the right time, right moment and oh, um, I kind of said to my mum look, if you want to kill him that's up to you and stuff like but obviously um, she gives him money because she thinks she's giving it him for his food. And he's not basically buying food with it. Because he has a stack of uh, food in his fridge. In his own fridge. And basically. Uh, and she goes. Well he didn't ask for it. And I thought to myself. Okay well he didn't ask for it. But yet you still gave it to him. And like sort of. Oh big massive argument yesterday. Um, but what really annoys me is that she's enabling him to basically carry on drinking so he ends up killing himself pretty much into an early grave. And it's like he tries to play me and my mum up against each other and all that. Because this is what most like most drinkers do and all that. They drink a lot of alcohol. They kind of play each other against each other or try and get... The, the people to play so me and my mum playing against each other and basically um he doesn't want the help obviously we know it's a condition we know it's a mental health condition and it's to that point where it's getting out of hands so if you were in that sort of con um that state guys and girls right if you've got say a family member who does exactly the same, who's a, an alcoholic or a drinker or heavy drinker and all that, um, do they try to get to play you up against that as well? Like, do they uh, play you up against your family members? Let us know in the comments below. I want to hear your uh, thoughts on it. But um, I've been telling her, she won't, it won't sink into her head. So obviously, what can you do? What can you do? And um, I think she's just got to find out the hard way, guys and girls. But uh, I'm just going to let her fall flat on her face. And let her find out herself. Lie, and make her own bed and lie in it. I'm doing all the hard work. I'm doing as much as I can around the house to get the whole house done up and try and help her as much as I can around the house 
But if she doesn't want to listen, um, yeah, if she doesn't want to listen, that's entirely up to her. Uh, and I'll eat some butter in a minute. God, it's cold this morning. So a bit of a um, bit of annoyance, but what can you do? What can you do guys and girls let us know in the comments below that if you're in the same circumstances and all of that but it's the way it goes anyway guys it goes i'm going to finish off this episode here but definitely let us know what you guys and girls think uh, of this um obviously we know he's got a drinking problem we don't know why he's got the drinking problem um and how it all started um there's obviously going to be something in it uh but hopefully we can get to the bottom of this the reason why he's drinking in the first place but anyway stay safe guys and girls and see you on the